Here's step two for butterfly pull-up. If you understand kipping pull-ups, which is just a regular swing, and you understand that the transition at the top of that pull-up is the chin over the bar, we can stop that transition and just say, hey, let's hold it there for a second or two. Now, instead of pushing back from there, I'm actually going to work on pulling myself under and pressing myself through. If your shoulders are half as stiff as mine, this progression will be hard, but it's good practice. So watch what I'm going to do. I go kipping pull up, hold the top, press myself through, and if you notice at the bottom, I'm in a slight extension. From here, I can kip again. I go through, I'm in slight extension, kip through. What I'm doing is pausing the transition, following through. Notice that my legs are completely straight. I'm not worrying about what my legs are doing. I'm just working on global shapes from head to toes. If I were to accelerate that process, this would become a butterfly pull-up with straight legs. So that's step two for butterfly pull-ups. Understanding the transition, pulling yourself through into extension.